Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be something super, super different. Um, we're just going to be focusing on eyes. I'm not going to do any skin or anything like that. Just strictly showing you guys how I created this eye look. So um, this look was actually inspired by a girl on Instagram. Her name is Glam by Nautica. And she's super, super freaking talented. I'll have her link to her Instagram down below. That way you guys can go ahead and check out her work. But yeah, I was inspired by this look that she did. And I had to kind of do my spin on it or whatever. So, first thing we are starting with is brows. And I'm using the MAC Spiked Brow Pencil. And I'm pretty much just outlining the brows first. Just getting my general shape. And then I go in with filling it in using the same brow pencil. And then I'll go ahead and take my P. Louise base in shade 2. That's the base shade that I always, always use. And I go in and start to carve out the brow, clean it up at the bottom and whatnot. I don't ever clean up the top of my brows ever. So I just clean up the bottom and then I go ahead and... Um, apply the base on to the rest of the eye area. So you guys will see that coming up soon. Right here this is the look that's her page so obviously mine is a little different but the whole general idea i did take from her so i'm gonna go ahead and use my alien palette from jeffree star cosmetics and i did get a little closer for you guys so you guys can see so i took the purple shade first and i took the small um blending brush from morphe i'll leave all the brush numbers down below all of them that i did use are from morphe i believe besides one which is from the crayon case but i will leave all of them down below so that you guys know which brushes i use to create this look um so i go in first with patting that purple shade into the um inner part of the eye and then 
I'll start to blend as I go just so that the edges can be slightly blurred before I go in with the second shade. And I do end up switching brushes. I go in with my crayon case brush, as you guys see there, because it was smaller and got a lot better in the inner corner. In the inner corner. In the inner corner of the eye. So, um, if you guys don't have these brushes that I'm using, just use what's best for you. I found that smaller blending brushes worked better for me um so yeah I pretty much take that shape and then I go in with the second shade which is the green and I start to do the same following the shape um blending the two together and I go back and forth with the shades to make sure that the pigment is there because as you know you keep blending shades you do kind of lose the color a little bit so I do go back and forth with the shades making sure pigmentation is exactly how I want it to be and then the third shade that I do use is the lime green shade from the palette um, and that is the third shade so that shade there that's the third shade in the inner corner um, so I pretty much blend, 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 and then I go ahead and start to cut that. So you guys are going to see shortly that I'm going to, you know, take the same base shade, two from P. Louise, and I will start to cut my crease. And I did go in with a Sigma E11 um, liner brush to further define the line um, just because the first brush that I used didn't work as best as I wanted to. But now I'm pretty much um, going in with the second little wave, I will call it. And um, I'm doing the colors in reverse. So instead of the purple first, we're going to go in with that lime green shade first, and we'll go in with the green, and then we'll go in with the purple. And I'm pretty much pressing the shadows into the shape that I want it to be. So um, as you guys saw in her pictures, her shapes were um, a little different. And from the picture, her lid space, she does it like she has a lot more lid space than I do. Um, so obviously I just kind of winged it and did what was best for eye, my eye shape, um, because obviously when you do looks, um, like recreate looks from someone else or try to do a certain type of look that someone else did, it's not always going to look the same on you just because everyone has different eye shapes, but, um, yeah. So mine is slightly different, but the whole concept is the same as hers. So here I just took a smaller brush just to make sure the edges of those lines from each color was um, a lot more crisp and everything like that. And then I just go back in with the, the shade that I was, I mean the brush that I was using before. And again, it's pretty much, you know, blending the shades together. And I did a lot of tapping motions um, rather than like blending in circular motions because you want each section to be nice and detailed and crisp so padding motions work a lot best and then again like I said before um, smaller brushes definitely help control um, where you're placing the shadows so once we get that um, area down pat blended pigmented and all that good stuff I go in with the Oh, here, I forgot to tell you guys, for like in between each cut, so that negative space, 
I just took the bone shade um, color from the palette and then just um, set the base pretty much that way you know the base wasn't moving everywhere or creasing or anything like that so again I took that same um, brush started to cut it out and then with the small little liner brush which I don't think you guys are going to see here I don't even know if I showed it did I draw? yeah I don't think I showed it oh yeah I did so as you guys see doing this helps me just pretty much define the lines a lot better so once I do that I'm going to go ahead and flip the colors so instead of starting with that light green, I go in with the purple and then the green and then the lime green. And that's pretty much how I did the whole eye look. Just back and forth. It did take me, I would say, at least an hour to do this look um, because it's, this is my first time doing a look like this. So I wanted to take my time and get all the details as perfect as I could. And then um, for the lower lash line, you guys are going to see at the picture at the end. Um, for the lower lash line, I actually just took a Marc Jacobs um, pencil, eyeliner pencil. I believe it's called Grapevine. I put that. I did the purple shadow, the green shadow, and then the lime green shadow just to blend out and then do some lashes. And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I wanted to do something different um, here on my channel as far as looks go. Um, and just kind of do like a very in-depth um, eye look tutorial. Just focusing on the actual eye look rather than a full face makeup tutorial. So yeah, that is it. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you guys subscribe like comment and follow me on all of my other social media platforms and i'll see y'all in the next one